What's up guys, General Incompetence here and welcome to episode 8 of the Studii Let's Play on Total War Rome Remastered and it's Britney bitch and I'm fucking back, let's go. It's been about two months since I've recorded episode 7, um, sorry, and during that hiatus we hit a thousand subscribers, let's go! thousand subscribers in the bag thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you um that's absolutely amazing in fact we're near 1100 subscribers now um i don't feel like i'm worth it because i, I just keep disappearing but i massively appreciate all of your support and i put out a post like two or three days ago um and just saying you know i've just been struggling a little bit with confidence for making videos which is why i haven't been doing it and the incredibly kind messages that I received has all contributed to me returning so quickly. Um, I'm just massively thankful for all the support and the very, very kind words um, of everyone. Um, but there is one person I want to give a specific shout out to, and that's Barking Wilder. Um, just a really, yeah, it just reading your comment made my day. And I just want to say, Thank you especially to you but also everyone else in there as well james silver i know you've commented on quite a few of the videos recently um john yeah and also all the old crew you know like flying pig and Ad admiral pump out and what have you you know thank you thank you thank you so let's just get back into it so i've had to remind myself a little bit i'm very rusty i haven't touched a total war game in those two months I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy, but I've watched a little bit of the prior episode and I'm reminding myself of our role play. So if we go to the family tree, uh, you'll remember that Quintus and Amulus, they died. We um, we didn't do quite so well there. Vibius, I believe is on Sardinia. Lucius is, um, he is our better statesman rather than a good general, but he is over in Dacia. And we now have new the new Quintus who is pushing up in Gaul, and he is one of our new favourites, as you can see, he's a seven-star general with 2,000 men at his command. So, here's the current state of play. We're pushing up into Aquitania. We're building up some forces over here with good old Flavius, and we're moving up some reinforcements. That is our main problem that we're going to have to deal with, but we'll get round to that. And then over the Dacia, we're trying to contain we've got a policy of containment at the moment with the Macedonians which is why is I want to move into Pannonia and take on this army here at the moment we're not at war with Germania that will come no doubt but I'm just continuing to move some forces up um, to give us what we need to start moving out we've got some cavalry as well um, and we are growing nicely we're we're, you know, steadily moving towards the Marius event, which is which is what we really want. I think the one thing that we don't really have from memory are archers. Um, or the ability to recruit archers at the moment. Um, there you go. Yeah, we need to invest in an archery range, but we've, you know, we need to sort out the economy. We've got other things that we need to do, but I do want to get some archers in our armies at some point, and I think that's why we're putting in the practice range at Mediolanum, so we can eventually get that. Right, okay, so, as long as this army stays put, we should be fine in taking Aquitania, um, and it just buys us a little bit more time. We're trying our best to sort out um, public order. Someone in the comment section in the last video, sorry I can't remember who you are, said why didn't you take advantage of the plus two advantage to um, missile weapons or whatever it was before I destroyed the temple. That's because I was not observant and I just destroyed it before doing some potential upgrades. My bad, soz. But I think it's time that we end a turn and we just start cracking on. Um... Oh, I remember that obviously we've got Salona through just sheer luck and dumbassery of the uh, of the AI. That was very enjoyable. We are just going to have to wait for the population to grow. We can't really do anything there. If we are attacked by someone, eh, is what it is. We'll just have to lose it. Um, but it's fine. Right. Let's go. Oh. Got me had a diplomat over there. And in we go into Illyrica.
So the plan is at, at the moment it is the 20 uh, Saturday the 28th of October at three minutes past seven in the morning. Now I've been very very busy with work um, and Lady Incompetence and I have been very busy with oh there comes that army. Okay. Interesting. We'll have to think about what to do here. Oh, what do the Germanians want? Think very carefully before you reply. But you. Until next time. No. Um, we've been very busy in sorting things to do with the wedding. We've also been very busy with the house move. We have bought a four bed detached new build house, which is very exciting. Um, and that should be ready for us to move in within the next four weeks max. Um, so that's that's really exciting as well. Um, and as a result, I do have next week booked off work, uh, the entirety of next week. However, I'm probably going to cancel the Monday and Tuesday because I have shit to do. Um, but I'm hoping that if I can find some more time this weekend and during the time off next week, I would love to make some more videos and just crank out a good few episodes, get in the kind of the getting this back in the swing of things of doing it all again um so i can again try maybe just start giving some consistent content um that's really what i would like to do right let's have a look at our situation here um mm -mm -mm. i would like to push up on alicia to be honest and give this army something to think about I mean, this army is not good enough to take that on in the field, I don't think. I don't think it is. I don't think we have the we don't have the numbers, we don't have the cavalry to do that. Um So let's stay at that bridge. Let's do that. That gives us a turn's worth of manoeuvring to do. What we should do, though, is sort out construction. So, what do we want over in Narbo? Narbo is growing very quickly. Uh, population... Public order is getting there. What about... Okay, so corruption is an issue. I believe that should have public... Yeah, that has benefits due to public order. That's fine. Roads would probably be a reasonable investment, I'm assuming. Mm. It's alright. Blacksmith. Hmm. I could probably do with stables. And we've obviously got like quite a bit of a culture penalty going on with a lot of our buildings. That will eventually disappear. Um... Again, I am a wee bit rusty. I'm going to put in stables because we do want to have cavalry at our frontiers. And lug dug. Um, let's up the tax a wee bit. Get some more of that dollar. And I'm assuming there's quite a bit of corruption here. No, there isn't. Interesting. Okay. Um, what do we want to prioritize? Bucket. Let's just put some wooden walls in. Probably not the smartest decision ever, but we're getting there at Suggesta. Good, good, good. And we're expanding there. Now, I think it's about time that we make moves. And I want to use Lucius. Decius we can leave behind, I think. He's a decent, decent manager. Okay, we want the cav. And we want all the ones with upgrades and chevrons. So. Oh, you haven't got upgrades. Oh, that was dumb. What about that? Can we take that much? 
we can. Okay. Imperator. So we don't have any missiles, but we've got four units of cavalry, including our faction air and another general. Plenty of Hastati, that should be enough to deal with the Dacian threat, I should think. Mm, should we give you one more? I mean, yeah, fuck it. Does leave us a little bit exposed to a... to the Germans. Let's just keep churning out some reinforcements. Hmm. Astarte for no reason. Can't be having that. Now what were we churning out Astarte for here? I feel like we were doing it to build an army for Sardinia. So let's proceed on that basis. What are our missions? We do have to take Alicia. Ready to sail. Prepare for battle. Bosh. The sea is ours. The sea is indeed ours. Yes, Captain. Right, I think the time has come to do something about Carthage. The time has come, my little friends. Okay. Now. Now then. Ideally, we need more. We need more men. We're going to do plenty of recruitment. That's what we're going to do. Um, what's Navo like if I do that? Oh, they're not best pleased. We are putting in another unit of Hastati. So I'm going to gamble that bucket. It should be fine. Maybe I should, instead of churning that out, let's put in sewers. Let's do, let's help our public order do ourselves a little favor. Maybe we should recruit a town watch instead of Hastati. I know that we want military reinforcements, but we also need to keep everything happy. No, we'll be all right. We'll be fine. Okay. Now, have we spoken to the Armenians already? Let's have a look at diplomacy. Um, how do we find out? Our trade partners. Yep, yeah, we're trading already. So we've spoken to the Armenians. Is it this? Is it Seleucia we need next? We're already trading with the Seleucid Empire. And the Parthians. So it's Egypt we actually need to go to next. Ah, the Egypt campaign. Where realistically it all started. That was fun. I enjoyed the Egypt campaign. Okay, I think that we should... End the turn or wait for ships? Nah, let's put in one ship. Okay, let's go. Okay, what's that big army gonna do? Interesting. Well, they're leaving Alicia exposed. Oh no, Flavius! No! Oh. Oh. Oh, sad times. Flavius is dead. And we now need another general over here. Um. Oh. So that means he has ascended to the throne. Lucius Julius has won. Oh. Oh, well, it was a fun roleplay while it lasted, wasn't it? Our own little succession battle. But at the end, 
In the end, it was always Lucius. He needs to be a worthy successor. Oh, Lavius. Sad, sad times. Oh no. Anyway. What shall we do here? Well, look at our economy. Our economy is booming. We like to see. Um... I mean, we do want elite troops. We also want archers. I think Mediolanum is where we're going to get our archers. So we'll do that. Aretium. What are we looking at? Um, then that would be good. What else would be good? Don't care about cavalry auxilia. I mean, Prinky Pays would be nice. Can we get Prinky Pays anywhere else? Anyone? Anyone recruiting Prinky Pays? Nope. And it's just not ideal because it's not at our frontier. If we recruit Prinky Pays here, they've got a long way to march. Um, the same with getting an armorer, really. Um. Let's get an academy. Unlock new traits and followers. We can increase our generals. Let's do that. And then Carolus. Um, what should we do with you? We want to be able to recruit Hastati. We need to be able to pump out troops. And... Same story here. We want to be able to recruit Hastati. Right, we need to have another general over this way. Facts. Pure facts. So, I think Marcus. It's a long old, it's a long old march. No denying that. But it's one that you are going to make. It is annoyingly slowing our plans. Over here. Maybe Quintus. Maybe. I don't necessarily want to leave this army in enemy territory without a general. Because what if it just, you know, turns its cloaks? Is that a risk I'm willing to take, though? I don't want to just stand here and be doing fuck all. We'll think about that in a second. Because in the meantime, we have business in Dacia. What have they got? Oh, they've got some Falksmen. They are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see what else they've got. Okay, Barbarian Cavalry, one unit. We've got much more. Obviously, we know the Barbarian Cavalry is better than our Equites, but Lucius is now our faction leader. He's pretty beasty. They do have two units of archers, so that's interesting. The rest is just Warband, and the Falksmen are the real problem. General, right, Lucius, this is your first time to shine as our new faction leader. You need to... You need to stamp your authority on the House of Judii and let Rome know that you are just as useful as your father on the battlefield as well as in the arts of statecraft. Let's do it. Come on. God, I haven't played a battle in so many weeks. I'm excited. Hope you can all tell. I'm ready. I'm ready for some Dacian blood. The sun has risen. How many of us who look upon this dawn will live to see the night? I don't like the look of these Dacians at all. They are really quite intimidating. And you wouldn't believe what they do when they win a battle. That army comprises a full quarter of our foe's warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women, beardless youths and craven dogs? I think we will
will grow weary of killing today. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We slightly outnumber the enemy, but take nothing for granted. Victory must still be earned. They may take the high ground, but why should this help a bunch of slack-jawed idiots like them? These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different, so lay into them with a will. And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all we can do for her. Then we will do our duty to Roman honor! Ah, let's go. I had to let him do his first speech as uh, our faction leader. That was completely necessary. He suggested they're going to take the hill. So, we'll need to watch out for that. A nice long line of Roman infantry. Is there anything finer? Right, Equites. I want you to try and race to that hill if you can. Alright, let's crest the hill. Oh shit, they're right there, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, fine sending the cavalry around the side. Hopefully we can join that barbarian cav, that would be good news. There's Falksmen there. If we could deal with them early, that would actually be quite good news. Alright, let's keep moving up the hill. Those Falksmen are exposed. Now the Barbarian Cavalry are coming into play. Yeah, here we go. Let's sandwich them. They want to get close, we'll just peeler them. Here we go, take out the Barbarian Cav. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In you come, because they won't stand on their own. Bosh, there we go. Come on, kill the captain. Excellent. They're now leaderless. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. Yeah. We got this. As I said before, it's Britney, bitch, and I'm fucking back. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, oh, love it. Here they come. And here I come. Oh, and let's peeler them to fuck. Yeah, they're breaking real fast. Hey! What the hell are you guys doing? Alright, you know what? Screw it. Have fun, boys. I can't, I can't deny you, and I won't deny you a bit of killing fun. That was, that was way too easy. As soon as we killed their captain, that was it. Yeah, look. I promise this is on hard, hard difficulty. I promise. <laughs> I think that's just the thing. Is uh, in Rome, just the same as in medieval. As soon as you take out their captain, I mean that's it. They just completely capitulate. We barely lost a man. How many men did we lose? 20. 20 men. And most of them, I think, from our cav. Alright, nom them up, boys. No Dacian leaves the field alive. Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Cut them down. Ready. 
Well, you can have your fancy weird swords, but you didn't do shit. Eat Roman spatter, bitch. Know you are loved. If you know where that uh, reference comes from, know you are loved, then you are a superior human. If not, then I recommend that ASAP you get yourselves onto Netflix and uh, watch a show called Bodies, which is just so, so good. Look at that. So they only inflicted four cash. So that means that we must have fucked up ourselves. But anyway, experience gained. One for the equities. Look at that. 323 casualties inflicted. Lucius didn't really get involved, but that's fine. That is a massive blow. Dealt to the Dacians. Love it. And now we're going to march on Pannonia. Smashed it. Attack. Absolutely smashed it. I think we literally we're completely intact. And we've got some heals as well. Love that. Love it. Yeah, they're fucked. Right, okay, let's deal with our Gallic situation. So there are a couple of schools of thought here. We could divert forces from Logdogna, support Quintus here, and just fight them in the field and win. We might lose out on taking Elysia in time. What's the benefits of this? You'll be rewarded with one minor exotic unit. Okay, so we don't have to do it right now. So maybe we should divert some forces. What do we need? I mean, ideally, we need some cavalry. And there's a unit of cavalry there, but it's not good. We'd be delaying by getting cavalry over there. I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact that we have a lack of cavalry. I mean, we could get some barbarian mercenary cavalry, but then nowhere as good as the nor normal barbarian cav. But... Okay, so they've got less defense. They've just got a better charge than our equities. So we could just get ourselves a unit of mercenaries. Let's do that. Um, and then let's divert some troops. Um, these haven't got any upgrades. Do any of these? Yes, yeah, some of them do. But even with upgrades, these chevron ones are better, but mm, how long would, oh, okay. One, two, three, maybe. How many slots have we got? We've got five slots to fill. Yeah. You know what? Let's move you two and one, two, three over. Let's join up like that. Let's see where they go because now we could attack either way we've, and we've got a full stack and another... We've got two units of Barbarian Mercenary Cavalry, some Equites, we've got Quintus, plenty of Hastati now. One unit of barbarian mercenaries and some Roman archers. I like that. I think that's that's the best of that's best of both. Right. Get yourselves onto a ship. I don't like the looks of that. Um, let's heal up here and recruit a trireme. We can't allow our ships to be sunk at sea. Uh, so I'm going to play it cautiously. Because the pirate ships, I think, are actually reasonable. 50% still. 50%. I just don't want this spy to die. I need to see what's going on. As soon as we land in Carthage, I can take some more risks. 
Okay, and we need to continue to move over towards Egypt. I will address them at once. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. Let's do it. Oh, it feels so good to be back and doing this again. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having so much fun doing this. Obviously, I'm having to remember everything because I can't really remember what I was doing and what have you. And like, I'm a little bit rusty. But yeah, this is this is fun, man. This is fun. Oh, they're moving over some big boys to Pannonia. That's not gonna save them. Take settlement. Yeah, we already know that. Agent found in Gaul. Uh, he escaped. Damn it. Most advanced faction. Let's go. We are the best. That's fine. Okay, so we've got more farms. Our economy is still in good news bears territory. Let's put in some sewers. Pativium is now upgraded. That is good news. I think... Mm. Population growth is stalling a little bit considering we want this to be our powerhouse. I know that's going to add some decent money, but it costs a lot. So let's put in a land clearance. Because that's going to help with population growth as well. Massalia now has its blacksmith. Put in some upgrades. Um, okay, I'm going to put in sewers because we still need to be thinking about public order here. Like Dugnam has now got some better walls. Um, uh, I am going to put in a stables because we do need to be able to get cavalry on this frontier and Nabo has its sewers which is good news I might have to wait before I put in anything else because we've spent a bit of money this turn already hmm. I could put in some roads because that would help with a little bit more of culture penalty how much would that get us a little bit no we'll wait we'll wait Okay. We can take them. I reckon we can take them. Let's do it. We're moving. We're on the march. Marcus, keep moving. Actually, would have been a good idea to have a unit of cavalry or something to go with him. Yeah, let's put in a unit of cav. Okay. Um, Didi, I want that unit gone, but at your service. We can't reach them this turn anyway. Your honor. Oh, faction leader. On my way. Sir, attack. What's this? Your honor. What that is is too late. Yeah, they're fucked. Is this their capital? No. Yes, master. Where is their capital? How do you know what uh does it tell you what okay where um what their capital city is? Yeah, there we go. In brackets there. Capital. Sir. This guy's just kinda chilling out. I've spoken to most factions now. I will address them at once. Trade rights. A most generous proposal. I do want to see. A most generous proposal. Um, they don't have any enemies. Interesting. I mean, we are going to attack the Egyptians at some point anyway. So, we'll get there. We'll get there. I think that this is just going to be a real quick turn. We're just kind of moving armies at this point. Shuffling around. Okay. We, do, we are ready to do that. Um, okay, so we've got seven units there already. Okay, it's time. Bibius. I want you... Now, is it 
What? Oh no, we should have probably built an armorer, shouldn't we? Blacksmith. That's fine. Um, do you have enough to take on Carthage? Okay, that's a lot of elephants, man. Iberian infantry. Six, nine, ten. Six, nine, fourteen. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. We may have to recruit a little more. What else can we get? I mean, some more hoplites would be nice. Okay. Some Balearic slingers? They wouldn't hurt. I'm not fussed about the pell tests. Okay, let's just put this all together in theory. We'll have the velites and that unit you know, of hoplites or hoplites, whatever you want, however you want to say it. So that would give us fourteen. Once you add those seven, we haven't got any cavalry whatsoever, apart from the general. So that probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world. Could recruit some. Let's do that. Let's recruit some cavalry and send. you two back actually it's a lot of pirate ships should we gamble it ah, damn it you know it's going to be a while but we do, we do need a couple of extra turns just to get this all sorted so we can afford to wait move you up is there any real point in me having these if I'm not going to use them they're just pointless units just get rid of them so save ourselves the cash we'll get two units of cavalry then that will get us up to 16 I do, yeah, I want a full stack to be taken. I mean, Jesus. I know they're light cavalry, but still. It's just a hell of a lot of elephants, man. That's a hell of a lot of elephants. Right. General. I think we are ready to move on. Let's do it. Oh, idle resource. Uh, okay. Watching. Get yourself in there, buddy. Okay. What else we got? Yeah, I'm happy keeping you there. Inactive diplomat. Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. I mean, this is kind of what we wanted, I guess. I guess this is what we wanted. Look at Quintus now. Ten stars. At the sound of this man's voice, even the clouds change their flight across the heavens. So they have a numerical advantage. Quite a reasonable one, actually. They've got more than a thousand men more than us. But a lot of theirs is warband, and we've got reliable Hastati. They've got one unit of barbarian cavalry. We've got uh, two units of barbarian mercenary cavalry, one unit of equites. Taking out their general will be important. We have archers, and they have two units of skirmisher warband. We should be fine. Let's do it. This is this is the battle. This is stack versus stack. And yeah, we have a couple of a couple of barbarian mercenaries thrown in there, but realistically, in the Gallic War, what what Roman army didn't? We'll just have to rely on 
Roman virtue and discipline over numbers. These goals do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down just like any other men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. Here we stand. Here we wait. Let them come to us. There are a few more of them than there are of us. But so what? Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. The omens have been better, but I dismiss those priestly naysayers. They are holy men, not warriors, and a warrior makes his own fate. And the first man to the enemy gets a jug of my finest wine. Let's go. A night battle. And as Quintus says, let let them come to us. I mean, it's a fairly flat ground. Um, instead of going rose, I think a nice long line of Hastati is probably a good place to start. Turn that on. Archers over here. I want the Barbarian Cav. To make adva take advantage of the trees, I think. And then... Oh. Lost control there. Equites on this flank. And then... I think on this side I want the flexibility. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Let's move out there. God, this is such a long bat. Like, this is like a Napoleon battle. Where is he? There he is. It's very, very foolhardy of him to attack us in the field like that. Look at your fucking top knot. I'm gonna snip it off along with your head. I can't lose to someone with a top knot. Can't live that down. I wouldn't mind extending the line just a little bit if I can. Like that. Let the men sprint that. Okay. General. Quickly. Infantry. Quickly. We can get a two-on-one over there. Ooh, interesting, okay. They seem to have divided their forces into two a little bit. Maybe we can take advantage of that. Okie koki. Get this unit of cav. Right, here they come. Get back in that should take care of this unit real fast. Well, it should do. Yeah, there we go. Munch, munch, munch. Good 
good, good, good. Yeah, they're already starting to break. Why aren't they moving? Come on. Fucking hell. Oh, they're breaking formation. Get back into line. You know what? Fuck it. Come on, boys. Get it done. Okay, this is the side that we're fucking up a little bit on. Yeah, we're fine. We're all good. Right, where am I? Cavalry over here. Where's that general? Okay. Okay, we're, we're drawing ourselves out a little bit. But, I think we're alright. Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Don't let him withdraw. Let's mop them up. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're trying to get away. Yeah, their general's going to escape. I'm afraid. Smash into them. Love that. They're going to immediately rout. Yep. Not our finest work, I'd say. Not our finest, but decent enough. Their general has escaped. Let's just mop up as much of this as we can. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. We do want to make sure that we clean up all their swords, Minifeni are still on the field. that. Yeah, it's nearly done. Oh, he was a coward and one unit of warband got away. Everything else is pretty much cleared up. Let's turn off fire at will. Turn off. is Quintus hasn't really upgraded himself much with many chevrons. Just a great commander. Right, are we missing anything? What are we missing? We're not chasing anything. There's some soldiers stuck in here or something. Yeah. Oh no. Can't see any enemies. Oh wait. What are you fighting? Oh. There we go. Victory from our generals. And this day is clearly our victory. Bosh. How many do we actually lose? Not many. Okay, that was that was pretty decent. Only Hastati gained a unit of sh uh, experience, though. That unit did well. So did they. Archers did alright.
And we got some decent heals. Good. Let's see what's left of them on the campaign map. Yeah, that's right. Fuck off back there. Now they're just going to try and turtle, I reckon. I love the campaign map at night. It looks so good. Oh. And it's brightening up. Okay. Right. So there's cavalry at Mediolano to escort... Marcus. Through you come. And we've recruited cavalry here ready. For our move on Carthage. Eight seven seven. Eight eight nine. Okay. What's on that? Nothing. Fleet ready. Orders. Set sail, sir. I, I thought I recruited a unit of mercenary uh, hoplites, didn't I? I thought I did. Hmm. All right, let's retrain that lot and get a trireme. Um, I'm here, might as well. Actually, mm, let's put in a unit of Hastati. I think public order is more important. Now. General. Now then. Shall I put a spy in and try and open the gates? What's that? Ooh, chosen sword. That's heavy. That's heavy shit. Okay. Hmm. Your honor. Forty percent chance of opening the gates. No. Nope. Oh, yes. Haha. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, fuck it. Let's have at them. Gates are open. We have a unit of archers. So we're going to loose as many arrows as possible before we move in. We can come in from as many directions as we like because the gates are all going to be open. We'll just have to look at the deployment zone. I didn't even look to see the makeup of their army, but it doesn't really matter. We have the numbers. They might have the odd unit of swordsmen here or there, but that won't save them. It's the chosen swordsmen we need to be worried about. Yeah, we don't need to hear it for this one. Okay, so, um, archers. Um, okay. We're going to break off into wee little squadrons. We want three in total. I want to be careful of this unit. I don't want it to get too messed up. We might have a bit of a ragtag band on this side. That we kind of move in last. And yeah, that'll do. So you're going to be over there. And on this side, is there a gate over here? Oh, there isn't. Okay. There's only a gate right round the back. Um, in that case, we'll have the ragtag going right the way round. Because they'll come in at the end. And... Mm. No, you four are fine. And then the rest... ...are gonna come through the front door. 
cavalry. Um, I mean, cavalry just aren't really much use. So we'll just kind of have you back here. Right. Let's go. Archers. Shift up. No rush, fellas. No rush. You guys can run because you've got a further distance to cover. Are you guys firing yet? Not yet, but you will be. Turn off skirmish mode. We don't want that nonsense. Right, what have we got? Skirmisher warband, 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 warband. Ideally, if we can shoot them while they're on the move, that's good. But. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. And their backs are turned. Love your work, gents. Loose! From Quintus with love. Nice. Oh, that's going to do damage. Oh, that's got to hurt. These guys are going to have a really bad day. Hmm. Alright, gents, how you doing? A little bit winded. Get yourselves over there. Take a breather. Archers are doing well so far. They'll be back. Let's just speed things up a little bit. Oh, interesting. Come on, here we go. Love your work, boys. Love your work. Big fan. What have they got at the back? Skirmish or warband. This is the key. It's getting them when they're either their backs are turned or they're on the run. See, that's the ideal angle right there. They could fire right now. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty damn good. Good, killed about 150 so far. I'm going to tie an off fire at will, just to kind of lure them in again. Alright, I promise I won't shoot you. We'll just wait. Just wait. Point blank. Ideally, just straight through the gate. You know? Straight through would be good. Oh, they're taunting. Oh no. What are we going to do? They're shouting at us. I know what we could do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat arrow, bitch. Alright, it's when they're going to turn. It's the next volley that I think is going to really do some damage. Go on. Yeah. Nice. That one volley alone killed, what, 15? 
16. Yeah, the last two volleys, we're taking them from 122 down to 95. And they've gained a Chevron of experience. Good stuff. How are we doing back here? All fresh. They have kind of moved a bit there, but that's okay. Wait for my order. Turn off fire at will. Let them get close again. How many have we killed? A couple of hundred? Yeah. 205 so far. Come on. The thing is, if I start attacking here, they might come away from my archers. I just want to get the most out of my archers first. Yeah, here they come. One... Two, three. Let them start taunting, then shoot them in the dick. This is a little bit of a longer episode, but that's okay. We'll wrap it up after this battle, I, th I reckon. Oh, they turn to face us at the just the wrong moment for us. Fast forward. Oh, nice. Okay. I think that we should start doing stuff. Because I don't want you lot to get bored. Let's move in slightly skewed towards this way. Okay, I do need to be careful of the fact they do have skirmisher band. I want to get a taunt off before I can move in as well. That's what they're doing, they're taunting. So I need to wait that out. Okay, they're still shooting. Good, they're exhausted over here as well. Or well, some of them are. Might move you guys up a little bit. Like that. I'm aware their, war, uh, their skirmisher warband will start throwing at me, but oh, that's okay. You guys want to peel at them? That'd be good. Good, that's what I was hoping for. Alright. Can you guys, like, return fire? I know you guys are my... Oh, shit, it's not turned on. Fuck. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Love your work. I think you lot are ready to move in. Now we do need to be aware that they could 
cause us some issues. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Fuck it, in you go. Taking too many losses over there. Keep shooting, you're nearly out of ammo. And we'll chew through them anyway. You know what? Cease fire. Use lot move in. We can perhaps take some pot shots at the general if we get a chance. How are we doing over here? Very well. You guys line up like that. Hmm. Do we need help? No, we're good. Let's just line up for the moment. Good, first line is in. Oh, come on. Yeah, they're, they're fucked. Good, good. Right, their general is thinking about doing stuff. Front three, move up. Like that. Archers. Those units at the back really are quite weak. No, stop chasing. So if that warlord comes to us, we need to stand our ground. Good, good, good. Come on. Get them finished. Oh, I do love a bit of Roman order. What the hell are you lot doing? Come on. Right, archers. Right, fuck them up. Alright, Quintus, come on, in you come. Go! 
Starting circling. Come on, get that done. Archers up the top. There we go. Peel the fuck out of them. Oh yeah, nice. Love your work. And archers. I do want to get Quintus involved if I can. Okay, they're just fine. Alright, let's do this. Everyone in you go. Okay. There we go. Nice. Lovely. There we go. It's beyond belief. The gods be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Archers, stop. And now everyone just pile in. Good. Good, good, good. I know that took a wee little while, but I mean, we didn't lose. Nearly as many went. We did it at the back, but that's fine. Aquitania is ours. Let's just speed that up. Fuck it. Right, let's have a look. The Mercenary's got a lot of Hastati gains. Great. Uh, Archer gains. Love to see it. Boom. Let's go. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Um, occupy. I reckon. Like a bit of foreign occupation. Okay, this time I am going to check to see what this does. What does that do? Are there any, like, military benefits? Plus one to missile upgrades. Okay, so we will do that for the archers. We'll let that happen and then we will destroy it. Let's put that in. Lower the tax rate. Nice. Okay, I like it. Castle. Just make sure everyone is moved. Orders. Looks like they are. I'm half tempted to just take out these just so I don't get rear-ended, so to speak. Um, what's the percentage chance? 32%. Mm, one in three. No. That's okay. It won't make any difference. And that's where we're going to end. That's the end of episode 8. Oh, it's so good to be back. Um, so, we have... I mean, realistically, we've just absolutely slaughtered this episode. We've taken Aquitania. Um, Elysia is probably next. 
Um, we're moving in on Pannonia, having slaughtered a Dacian army. Um, and we are we're gathering together a force to start thinking about taking Carthage. Uh, it's taking a little longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. Oh, that's 100%. I mean, yeah, it's not gotten any better, but still, it's something. It's a start. Um, yeah, we're going to have to deal with elephants, and that could be a problem. But we'll figure that out. It's all good. Right, so if you've enjoyed it, please remember, give the video a like. Drop me a comment in the comment section down below as a sacrifice to the gods of the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. We're now on the road to 2000. The road to 2K is what we're going to call it. Let's go. Until the next one, bye for now.